So here's Hattie on day 13. I've moved her to a cage with padding running up the sides of it a little bit. I've tried confining her. It doesn't work. She gets too hot and spikes a fever. I've tried not confining her and that doesn't work because she gets moving around too much and rolls like crazy. She had a horrible morning this morning. She woke up around 4.45 and she rolled off and on until just after noon. It was it was stressful for her, to say the least. So I've moved her into the cage. She's been good all afternoon. She has had quite a bit to eat today. She's eating pellets. She's eating her hay. She had a very good sized salad for supper. Um, she's trying to drink out of a very shallow bowl. That doesn't work the best, but she's getting better at it. She's tired tonight, so when she tries to move around, she tips over. She does kind of fall, but she's not rolling, and she is able to get herself back up, so that's good. So once she's had a chance to kind of rest here, we've just done her sub-Q fluids and everything. I'll move Scooch in with her for the night. He's in his big pen. Um, we worked out a system tonight where I could do her sub-Qs and all of her meds and all that stuff without having to pick her up and move her. I think my moving her is what's causing her the most distress. Um, so I'm, I'm learning how to do sub-cues left-handed and <laughs> all kinds of new skills coming into play and learning all kinds of new things so that I can move her the the least amount possible. So as you can see she's resting quite comfortably. Her breathing is nice and slow and even as opposed to the rapid breathing that we see when she's stressed. So day 13 it was a rough morning but a good afternoon. She's got a good appetite She's peeing and pooping normally, so this morning I was worried, this afternoon and this evening I'm quite pleased. There we go, another day.